Hey everyone, uh, today I'm out at um, an old baseball field that I was talking about in the last video and I haven't been having a whole lot of luck yet. Uh, the day's still early. Um, it's early morning and um, mostly digging modern day clad but I have found something and uh, let me show you what it is. Okay, here's um, what I found. It was about six inches down and it gave up a 1238 on the e-track and I can't find anything to say what it is yet yeah, well there's some markings in the inside but I can't I can't read them but that's cool it I, I don't know if it is junk or not it could be there's some like blemishes there but that could be just because dirty I don't know And I'm right, um, this is where the, the backstop is over there. And out here, this is the whole outfield. I just found a bullet, and this, it's a big one. It came up as a 1221. And I don't, I don't know how old it is. It looks, it might be a modern one. It's got some nice grooves on it. It could be um, a black powder bullet, maybe. Guys, I'm gonna do a live dig. I've got a a 1237 here. It sounds good. So it's right where that leaf is there. Get my pointer out. It's in the plug. And let me guess. Stinking Lincoln. Hey guys, I just got a um, a twelve twenty two signal. And I just pulled out this about two in, uh, three inches down. Some kind of star. Um, let's see if we can get better. It's, it's like a, a star pin, kind of. It's really cool. I don't think it's very old. But I don't know what it's for. Is it something baseball related or is it military? It could be military. I like it though. I'll clean that up and uh, I'll see if I can find out what it is. Alright, on to the next hole. Just found a wheat penny. 1945. Nice and clean. Alright. Hey everyone, I just want to do a quick wrap up of the finds today. 
I was a little disappointed on um, not finding any silver coins. Um, I, I have a feeling that somebody's already maldetected that spot before. Um, because I was finding mostly modern day clad. And this is all the clad that I found, which was $2.53. And uh, my other finds that I had was a 1945 wheat penny. Uh, the, the gold ring is uh, rolled gold plated. That's what RGP stands for. And uh, unfortunately, it's not solid gold, so it's worth not very much. Um, I did look up um, the, the details on, the, on this RGP um, marking, and apparently it was pretty common around the early 1900s. The star I found, I believe, is... Um, a military star that um, you find on on uniforms, U.S. Uh, Army especially uniforms, and you sometimes you see them on the the top of their shoulders. I'm not a big military expert, so I'm not really sure, but that's what I believe what it is. Um, I also found um, some buttons here, and this one is really neat. It says uh, "Military's Equipments." And I did a little research on that, and it, according to what I found on the internet, uh, it's a French World War II, or possibly World War I, uh, shirt button, or it could be a, a bread bag button. And um, that's kind of unusual why, why it would be uh, where it was. And these other buttons I found... Um, they have no markings on them, so I can't really um, get any inform information on them. This looks like a letter A. I have no idea what that's for. And this one had some stars on it. It's kind of neat looking. I don't think it's very old, though. And that's about it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.